What is happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Angry Mac and today's video I am introducing to you the brand new boat for the channel. Without further ado, this is Orange Hall. This is the new boat guys, this is a 1978 Sportscraft Professional. It's an Australian built boat actually in South Australia and as you see it is basically original condition. It's unmolested and it's immaculate. So you can see here all the original flow coat surrounding the inside of the boat. We're still running that orange uh, on the top and the white on the bottom. So they did come out in a few colors, I believe yellow, uh, blue, orange, green. Just to see one in this condition, a 40 year old boat is just amazing. Now I'm gonna run you through the whole boat from uh, top to bottom and uh, give you guys a bit of a better idea of, uh, of the boat and why I chose this particular vessel. Now coming up to the front here where all the action happens, we got ourselves two Lawrence HDS sounders. So we got the five and the seven. The five is to run all the charts and uh, the seven is to run your structure scan as well as your normal sounder. So you can actually flick between the two depending on the type of fishing application that you're doing. Um, on the left side here, we have just a, a, a Sony cast uh, radio there uh, running two little box speakers on top as well as a little switchboard that runs the LED cabin lights along the side of the boat and a few other bits and pieces that we'll get to a little bit later. We're running the GME uh, marine radio. The front here, we've got a bunch of storage. So that's where all the anchor is and the life jackets and stuff like that. And uh, the previous owner made like this uh, little vinyl so it sits over the top so you don't have to see any of that. Um, we've also got a couple of cup holders as well. This is where the um, EPIRP sits, as well as the flares that just sit on the side there. Some nice fold down Springfield seats. They're actually really comfy. They're not too bad at all. We've also got a USB port that's here. So we've got the Bimini, which is what uh, is used today on a 30 degree day. We didn't really want to cook. And uh, we've also got a pretty cool rocket launcher as well. I'll show you a photo now. And uh, basically he used to use that uh, with a little LED light, plug it into the USB socket there so you can pull up his cray pots in the morning or, or after sunset. We've also got two pockets that run down each side of the boat. On the floor here, we're running the cheaper style like deck armor. Uh, basically, it looks really nice, it's comfortable. We'll see how long it lasts, but um, yeah, we'll give it a go. Coming to the back of the boat, you can see it is unmolested. You've got all the original seats and uh, yeah, they're all bloody solid. Um, this boat has been checked out for the stringers, floor, transom, and everything is A1, uh, basically straight out the factory. So the owners before this uh, have done an amazing job to look after this boat. The previous owner that I purchased it from, he actually repowered this in 2018 with a 60 horsepower two-stroke Yamaha 2005 model, and this has only done 250 hours. It really pushes this boat well, so we're getting about 30 knots, so very happy with that. Well, there you have it, guys. This is the new boat for the channel. So, why did I buy this boat? Well, if you guys don't have me on Instagram, you probably don't know that I actually sold Angry Mac 2, which was the Voyager full restoration project that I did on this channel last year. The reason why I sold that is because now I kind of know what I want, and it wasn't because it was, it was a crap boat. It was actually a beautiful boat to rode good in the water. It was a beautiful size. But uh, there's also a few things that I didn't like about the boat. And number one was the sides of the hull. It didn't have much depth at all. It, it was a pretty dry boat, and don't get me wrong, but I wanted something with higher sides, something that's gonna you know, feel a lot safer, especially when you're doing deep drops and when you're out in, you know, in the big blue, 30, 40 nautical mile out. I restored that boat to factory condition. So the transom was 20 inches. I didn't do anything inside. It was basically restored back to how it was, how it come out in 1980. Now, the last really downside to that boat was the rear. You had the integrated uh, rear seats in the back. I think when a lot of people build their boats or restore their boats, 
they usually use that or utilize that space for lockers, live fish tanks, stuff like that. Put a pod at the back. I want to do the same sort of thing. Um, so I've got more storage. So now having done uh, a restoration build or rebuild on a boat, um, I want to expand my knowledge and I want to go that next step. As a content creator, we always got to progress. We always got to move forward. Definitely, we're going to have another boat restoration on the channel, uh, which brings me to why I purchased this boat here. This boat is literally the perfect size to just get it out there, pick up my cray pots, go for a whiting fish, go out for a dewy bash. It's immaculate, the, the transom's good, the floor's good, the engine runs really good. It's great to clean. You know, you just hose it down, you flush it out. You got the reliable Yamaha at the back, the two stroke. Now, just before we go, guys, I've actually rebranded the channel to Angry Mac, and we've got brand new stickers now available for you guys at home to support the channel. So if you want one, please message me on Instagram. They're only gonna be a few dollars, and uh, I'll send it anywhere in the world. So that's the reason why I bought this boat. It get me through a couple of seasons, I hope. Um, it's cheap on fuel, and it's, it's the perfect size to still get out there and do everything I need. Uh, for now until I work out the exact boat I want to rebuild on the channel and I'm also in two minds as well like I, I love the the cabin side of things but I also love how much room a center console has you know I loved Angry Mac 1 that was a great boat so I'm in two mindsets and that is something that I got to make my mind up what boat I really want to restore so look if you guys have a, an awesome riding hull or a boat that you guys have rebuilt and you think is just a great versatile boat, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to have a read so I can do my research and uh, and go from there. So that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions regarding this boat here, please leave them in the comments. But for the next season or two, you will see a lot of this boat. We, we, we wanna take this out as much as we can. I didn't do much filming on Angry Mac 2, but uh, this season, we're definitely gonna try and improve that and get you guys as much content as you can out in the water. That's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.